the gas law would not be complete without Dalton's law of partial pressures. Starting with the ideal gas law, we can make a rearrangement. We'll divide both sides by the volume, and then we'll group moles of gas and volume into one term. This is a very specific term. It's known as the gas concentration. It has units of moles per liter, or molarity, which is also expressed with a capital M, and concentrations are expressed as whatever the gas species is in square brackets. Molarity is a very common concept in chemistry used for both gas concentrations and concentrations of solutes in liquid. Dalton's law, or the law of partial pressures, states that the pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the partial pressure of gas A plus the partial pressure of gas B. Or if we use the formulas to express this, the moles of gas A divided by the volume of gas A times RT plus the moles of gas B divided by the volume of gas B multiplied by RT. Here's an everyday example of a mixture of gases where the partial pressure adds up to one atmosphere. You probably know that air is mostly nitrogen, and it has oxygen, the next most common component, followed by argon, carbon dioxide, and other gases. Each of these gases has a partial pressure, and the sum of their partial pressures adds up to the pressure of our atmosphere. So here's a question that I'm going to start for you. Suppose we have a mixture, and the mixture has 2.126 grams of helium and 38.105 grams of fluorine, and they're placed in a 14.2 liter container at 75 degrees Celsius. Here is how you would get the molar concentration of helium. You'd start with grams of helium, divided by the molar mass to get the moles, and then divide by the volume of the container. So the concentration of helium, which we represent by putting helium in square brackets, is equal to 0.0374 molar. Remember that molar concentrations are in units of moles per liter. So here is your question. I would like to know the concentration of the fluorine gas in this mixture. Please be careful in your calculation because you are dealing with F2 for your molar mass. Continuing with this problem, we can also calculate the partial pressure of the helium. The partial pressure of a gas in a mixture is equal to the molarity times RT. So if we take the molarity of the helium, the calculation was shown on a previous slide, and multiply it by the ideal gas law constant and the temperature in Kelvin, the answer will be 1.069 atmospheres. So your question is, what is the partial pressure of the fluorine in the mixture? So please go back to the previous calculation with your molarity and follow the instructions for helium on the previous slide.